We're back, and I'm here with ultra cool event planner Scott Vanassi. <laughs> Sweet Scott nice Vanassi, <laughs> who's gonna take us through making some prom food, whatever yeah. that means. All I remember about my prom food is that it ended up in my dress. Oh. oh. Yeah, and I had a fancy dress, baked potato, head oh. to toe. What's up? All the dreamers. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna do sort of take a bit of that. We're gonna take 80s food and prepare it and serve it in more of a stylish sort of gourmet way. Okay. So one of those things is macaroni and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Kiss it goodbye, because we're not going to use it. We're just going to take the idea of macaroni and cheese, and we're going to update it a little bit and make it a little more How thin. can you improve macaroni and cheese? We're it's gonna use genius! <laughs> <laughs> we're going to use better cheese. We're going to use more gourmet deli cheeses. Okay, so this is really food that you would have eaten in high school, but now you've maybe gone to Europe, and it's a little more <laughs> je ne sais quoi, right? Exactly. Okay. To make our version of mac and cheese, we've already boiled some elbow macaroni. For the sauce, heat up some whipping cream, butter, and your favorite cheeses. Let the sauce thicken until it sticks to the spoon. Then pour it on the macaroni. So we're going to put these in these small little ramekins. So everybody gets a little macaroni and cheese casserole. After dishing it into the ramekins, top your mac and cheese off with a simple mixture of breadcrumbs and olive oil. Look at me, I'm a chef. I love when chefs do this. Yeah, just chef it up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Chef it up. Yeah. Once the topping is on, bake until it's crispy, then dig right in. Why aren't you tasting? I don't have a spoon. Come on, Slim. <laughs> so good. Remember pigs in blanket? Of course. Pigs in a blanket? Of course. Hot dogs, crescent rolls. Yeah. Okay. Stepping it up a high school match. staple. Yeah, I think so. Popping them in one after another. So, <laughs> what we're gonna do? What was that? To make our stylish version of this childhood classic, start with a frozen puff pastry sheet and cut it into triangles. The next thing we're gonna do is grab these little sausages, turkey sausages. We just sauteed them. Rather than just roll this in, we're going to sort of add our gourmet touch and add some roasted red bell peppers, onions that we sauteed together to sort of caramelize. You know what, since we're so chefed up today, we should just give it one of these shots. <laughs> you know? You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> <laughs> so we just put that there. Okay. And then roll it. Once you've rolled it up, bake at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. So that looks Ooh, pretty good. Oh, they look really nice, too. Pretty good. Keep jazzing it up. We gotta step it up a notch. Ooh, there's more. So, Scott's not finished yet. Time to top them off with some herbed cheese. We put this in a Ziploc bag, and we're just gonna snip the tip right here. A little snipperoo. And we're gonna put a dollop on each one. And then finish it with scallions on the top. Bravissimo! Not too Benassi. shabby. Not too shabby. <laughs> Look, he's not just another pretty face. The last dish is an updated version of that old party favorite, meatball skewers. We start with meatballs and tofu, then add a yummy sweet and sour glaze, which is so easy to make, using orange marmalade, rice vinegar, and hoisin sauce. Now it's time to make them look as good as they taste. So we have these scallions. What we're going to do is we're going to make this into a flour. And we're going to cut it at the end, about an inch and a half up. Once there, and we're going to turn it over, and we're going to cut it one more time. Once there. And we're going to throw it into this bowl of cold water. Oh, and then it'll bloom like a flower. bloom a -roo. Pop them in the fridge for a few hours, and wow. Oh, look how pretty. Yeah. They look like little ribbons. Yeah. OK. And we're going to take our skewers and stick these on the bottom. Oh, huh. So you got that going. And there we go. Raw so, Not too shabby. Sweet sassy Vanessa. We got some good food at this point. We do. I think we do. One of the best things about reliving your prom is that the second time around, you can actually have a little kick in your punch, and no one's going to give you detention. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're going to keep the same punch idea and make it look like punch, 
But what we're going to do is create these kamikazes, raspberry so kamikazes. 80s. So yeah. 80. <laughs> to put a new spin on the old kamikaze, mix raspberry vodka, triple sec, lime juice, and grenadine. To make your kamikaze shots look like real punch, serve them on ice in a punch bowl. So we're going to pour these in, fill up each one. Ooh, they All look the way so to the top. Pretty. And if you spill, it's cool because we want to spill a little bit so that it fills up the bottom underneath the shot glasses so that it looks like one big bowl of punch until you get here. With the food, drinks, and decorations all ready to go, it's time for us to put this party together. All right, our prom is looking really great. And when we come back, a certain someone who may or may not have asked me to the prom and I will have gotten all dressed and ready to enjoy the bubble machine, the dance floor, <laughs> and a little boogie down. <laughs> I don't want to drop a name about who my date is, but if Mr. Scott Benassi asked me, yeah. Coming up, sparkling decorations, hilarious photos, and dancing under the stars. It's a prom night to remember on your invited. completely transformed Rich and Andrea's backyard, creating a fabulous dance floor, a great food and drink area, and some pretty spectacular decorations. This place is definitely prom worthy. There's only one thing left for us to do, break out the taffeta and tuxes and spray our hair to large scale perfection. Yeah. Magic date ball. Will my prom be the best prom ever? Yes!
I'm ready. Holy moly. Yeah? What a gown, what a do! <laughs> you look great, look at you! You too, thank you, thank you. Did you notice I matched my eyeshadow to your tux? Yeah, but of course I have this corsage. <gasps> For me? Yeah. What a date I have. <laughs> <laughs> I think all your ideas turned out incredible. Thank you. Andre and Rich are going to be really happy. I think you're right. Oh, oh man. It's only blue. Oh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Come on. This is great. Oh, Lovely. I never had a corsage just and like this. And fragrant, too. And I, I obviously missed out. <laughs> Not anymore, honey. No. From the kamikaze shop <laughs> to the dance floor to the music, the balloons. It was great. We had a great time. It was so much fun. Yeah, it was terrific. Thank you. Cheers to the best night of our lives. Rich's prom has turned out to be a night to remember. They and all their friends seem to be having a whole lot of fun. A party like this one can be so easy to create using these great ideas. Make a stylish dance floor by combining inexpensive linoleum tiles in a retro design. Use balloons to create a fun chandelier that will light up any party. Cut celestial shapes from cardboard and hang them as glittery decorations. Create lasting memories with your very own photo area. Make kitschy centerpieces that'll take you back to high school. Surf updated versions of drinks and appetizers that remind you of the good old days. And for under $600, you can relive your prom night with 25 of your friends. I know I had a great time. I hope you picked up an idea or two. Just remember that with a whole lot of creativity and just a little bit of effort, you too could have a blast from the past. <laughs>